the problem in tennis is, is if one guy gets injured or something happens, there is no substitute, you know, the match is over. You always hope that things are going to be okay. Um, that's where, that's why I always say before a big match or a finals or something, you just hope that you live up to the expectations of the fans and you hope that the show is going to be a good one, even though it's more than just show. There's, you know, a lot on the line. There's history, records sometimes. There is a good match, winning, losing, all these things, you know, uh, respect. And uh, you just hope it all goes well for everybody involved. Some matches I, I go into the match I'm not nervous at all. Some other ones I don't know why. I feel like um, this is going to be a bad match, probably going to lose and all these things and I end up playing a dream. So there is no real feeling that is perfect to have before a single match because every day we all do feel different and it's the same thing for me. So yes, pressure is a, is a funny thing. It's gotten to me in the past. It still will get to me in the future, um, but um, I'm not going to run away from it. I'm actually going to embrace it. Accept the fact that it's part of a, a, a tennis player's life, and it's probably what you want to experience. You want to be in this pressure situation, having to prove yourself to the world, to your fans, to the TV, to the the experts, and to your team and yourself. So it's something that is something you know that I guess keeps everything going and keeps the fire burning. It's, uh, it's everything or nothing and that's what it's supposed to be in sports and that's why the people flock to the stadiums to come see actually what's going to happen. Even though you think you know, you're just never quite sure and that's why people get excited about sports.